Since Sumer and Babylon, slavery has been a foundational part of the human story. In ancient Greece, slaves were considered part of the natural order. Aristotle wrote, For that some should rule and others be ruled is a thing not only necessary, but expedient. From the hour of their birth, some are marked out for subjugation, others for rule. During the Roman Empire, slavery was widespread. And when Rome fell, dynasties of Arabs along the Mediterranean created a new slave trade. The Prophet Muhammad was a slave trader, and the teachings of Islam support slavery. For all of recorded history, you will find humanity enslaved, mostly to ruling class families and their vassals. African slaves first arrived in America in 1619, and by 1688, the abolitionist movement was born within the Protestant Christian group known as the Quakers. The Quakers believed that each individual had a soul, and thereby every individual should be free. Quaker William Penn's Charter of Privileges was an early prototype for the Bill of Rights, and it was Quaker philosophy that inspired inalienable rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness in the Declaration of Independence. These documents were designed to liberate the individual from a ruling class system. It was the beginning of the abolition movement, and black slaves immediately began petitioning legislators demanding their freedom. By 1804, there were 11 free states and 11 slave states, splitting the North and the South against each other. It was during this struggle between the status quo and individual freedom that America's two current political parties were formed. By the dawn of the Civil War, there was Lincoln's anti-slavery Republican Party versus the pro-slavery Democratic Party. In 1862, Lincoln issues his Emancipation Proclamation, followed by the 13th and 14th Amendments. The Democratic Party remained strongly opposed. They even went on to create the Ku Klux Klan as the party's military arm. Hiding behind masks, the KKK used violence, intimidation, and murder to help the Democratic Party gain political power. In 1868, the first presidential election since the abolition of slavery, the slogan for the Democratic Party was, this is a white man's country, let white men rule. Today, Africa has the highest rate of slavery in world history, and so does the world. An estimated 40.3 million people are enslaved, 25% of which are children. And while both parties in America have become corrupted, it is still the Democratic Party that fights against individual freedom and pushes the people towards reliance upon a bigger, more powerful government. America is not perfect. The ruling class still thrives. But our Constitution and Bill of Rights have given the people more individual freedom than anything else in all of recorded history. And those who seek to take it away do so without any idea of what comes next. If we cannot preserve the extraordinary and unprecedented freedoms that we were given at birth, do we even deserve to be free? For Infowars.com, this is Greg Reese. News today. Where the hell did this water come from? Huh? Where did it come Where from? Did it come Where did it come from? from? Infowarstore.com. We can't survive without pure, clean drinking water. 
So make sure that it's always available to you with the Alexa Pure water filtration system. This gravity fed system filters through all the toxins and gets straight to clean, healthy, great tasting water. Mmm, mmm, yummy in my tummy. Bring the purest, most refreshing water to your home by ordering the Alexa Pure water filtration system today from InfoWarsStore.com. InfoWarsStore.com. Other systems just don't compare.